Paul here from Powertech. Today we're going to be unboxing a brand new product. This is the Selfie Roam R41 from Nextivity. So this actually replaces the, uh, the Nextivity's Go G31 and the G32 Go uh, mobile units. Um, brand new unit, about to be released in the next couple of weeks and um, we're excited about it. So for those that don't know anything about a, a, a Selfie product, actually a mobile phone booster. So they basically take an incoming signal, they boost it up and they rebroadcast it. So typical applications for this would be in a vehicle. Um, it could be a four wheel drive, could be an RV, could be a caravan or a boat. And um, I actually take these camping myself and um, quite often when I'm camping I'm in a weak signal area. So if I'm down the beach or up in the mountains, um, I only get one bar of signal quite often and this will actually boost it up to several more bars make the signal usable, so you can then make phone calls and also you can access the internet. So they will support data as well. So initially it'll come out with a, uh, a 3G, 4G product. There is a possibility that the carriers may approve this for 5G in the future. So just stand by for that. So let's get into the unboxing. So just looking at the main unit itself, um, as you can see here at the top, we've got a, uh, a large heat sink um, to actually cool the unit from all directions. Um, uh, on the end here we do have a uh, little picture of a mobile phone tower. This is the donor antenna port and also a little earth stud. So if the unit does get any current back into the unit, it will actually disperse that um, via the grounding cable. Um, on the other end we've got the server antenna port. There's a picture of a little mobile phone there. These are SMA female, these ports, the same as the old model. On the front here you'll see a uh, power port. Now this unit will take 12 volt, it won't actually take 24 volt from a truck or a boat. So you do need a down converter from 24 down to 12 if you're using it from a 24 volt source. And we've also got a little stud here to actually hold the cable. And there is a cable holder which is included. On the other side you'll see a little USB port. This is purely for programming so it's not actually active for, uh, for users. And what else do we have here on the back? Uh, we've just got a sticker. It's just got the, uh, the serial number is now on the side there. So when you actually mount the unit, you can actually get your serial number. And then the sticker on the back just tells you uh, the approvals and the model of the unit. So the model we've got here today is actually a, uh, a R41YB001. So that includes a, uh, a little magnetic antenna. Uh, the one that you get will actually probably be different from this. Uh, we do include the pulse magnetic antenna in our kits. Um, and it may also have a, a, a trucker edge antenna, which is the large bull bar four wheel drive antenna. So the parts, other parts, we've got our uh, 12 volt cigarette lighter plug. We've got um, our indoor server antenna to go inside the vehicle. It does have an adhesive back, so you can actually mount that anywhere in the vehicle. Um, we've got our magnetic antenna here, which is our donor antenna. This goes outside the vehicle and mounts on something uh, metal. Uh, that does come with a, uh, sorry, the server antenna comes with a 3 meter cable. The magnetic antenna comes with a 5 meter cable. Uh, something new to the uh, Selfie kits is a uh, little adhesive tabs. So if you want to mount the, uh, the Go, sorry, the Roam under the seat, um, you can do so on the carpet and the little adhesive tabs with Velcro on them will, will stick to the carpet. Uh, we do have our grounding cable, just a 30 centimeter cable. It includes little uh, screws and the washers um, to attach the unit and then another screw so you can attach the other end of the cable to the, uh, the chassis of the vehicle um, or a grounding point. There's the cable holder um, which comes with a little screw to hold the cable and then we've got four mounting screws. So you'll see on the uh, the actual unit here you have four screws, four little holes for screws and um, it comes with four screws. And we also have little round washers, so little spacers, so they sit underneath the unit and um, they offer extra airflow underneath the actual product. So when you are mounting it, it is a good idea to use those little, uh, those little washers or, or uh, screw, or little, sorry, the little uh, spacers. And that's everything in the box. Oh, oh forgot. So we've also got our uh, quick start guide. So opening that up, gives you a seven step process. So from mounting the actual donor antenna, server antenna, um, running all the cables, where to put the main unit, 
and also the um, grounding cable and the Nextivity Wave app. So when you do set the unit up, it does require you to use a uh, smartphone with the Wave app on it. You can do the registration and then you can also uh, help optimize the unit. One thing you'll notice is the heat sink is now on the top of the unit. Um, the previous G31 actually had the heat sink on the bottom. So when you're mounting it, it's not probably the ideal place for it um, being on the bottom uh, because the, the airflow isn't there. But having the heat sink on the top, there's a lot of airflow going through the top of the unit. Just to give you guys a comparison um, between the new Rome R41 and the outgoing uh, G31 mobile. So the size of the unit. So it's about the size, exactly the same size as my mobile phone. Just to give you guys an idea how big it is. Um, comparing it to the G31 mobile, uh, it's a lot smaller. Uh, it's also a lot shorter. Uh, it's about the same width. Uh, the height, as you can see, um, the new Romax is actually a little bit higher with that heat sink. So the unit we've got here is just the base pack. So if you do need a range of accessories, we do have them available. So we've got our donor antennas. Um, the Pulse magnetic antenna is a, a go-to for vehicles. Um, if you've got a four-wheel drive or a motorhome or a caravan, we do have a range of uh, bull bar mount antennas with a spring, um, which is a Blackhawk Trucker Edge range. We've also got our IoT based antennas, uh, the vehicle mount RV, and um, we have a 240 volt mains power supply. So if you do want to use it inside a house, um, you can do that at, or a caravan off mains, that's available. And we've also got a down converter, so a Victron Orion 24-12, that'll convert the, uh, the power from 24 volts down to 12 volts. Thanks guys for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button or subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more information on the Roam R41, please visit our website at powertech.com.au. We'll see you in the next video.